a very good morning. Uh, today we will start our uh, connection. Uh, myself, Professor Mahir Antarveva from Tarabandhu's uh, technical campus. So till now, in unit number one, just additionally we are studying in your syllabus it is not included separately, but it is included with the uh, design of uh, members, maybe tension, compression, or impending. But it is very important to learn the connections because uh, your design will be incomplete when you, are, you will not design the connection between the two members. So we are seeing uh, uh, in, in now your uh, IS code it is given only voltage and uh, welded connection. So riveted and pin connection having limitations in, in the uh, special places that is uh, preferred nowadays. But most of the connection nowadays it is uh, either welding or voltage. Uh, okay. So uh, this uh, we will see first about uh, 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 welded connection. Uh, welded connection is completed, and uh, we have solved some examples also on that. Now we will start with the uh, this lecture, lecture number. I think so it is lecture number 11 and we start with the, uh, this lec uh, lecture with the winner connection. Okay, the subject is again your DSS 301003 and today is 31st of July. Okay, I think so. My screen is visible. So, when the two structure members are uh, joined by means of weld, uh, the connection is uh, called as a welded connection. So, when two structure members, it may be uh, joined overlapping each other. So, if two structure members are joined with a weld, then this uh, is called as a welded connection. It may be in bolting we have seen it may be hot joint, it may be uh, it may be lab joint. Okay. It may be slot connection, it may be plug, etc. All these are uh, 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 Any type of uh, connection is called as uh, uh, sorry when when we are two structural part or members we will, we are joined with the welding is called as welded connection and if the members are connected with uh, 90 degree overlapping uh, each other then this type of weld is called as uh, generally the fillet and. If the members are connected, uh, touching each other or putting each other, uh, so they are called as but uh, weld. But weld. Okay. And if uh, the welding is done uh, uh, by plug, making a small hole, and that is called a plug weld. And if welding is done, thin part of the member is connected with the thick part. Uh, that is called as a spot of weld when only some spots are connected by the weld. Mostly, informally, uh, we are using the uh, uh, weld, uh, welded connection uh, is a, either a fillet weld or a bolt weld. So why we are going for the uh, welded connection nowadays it is commonly you can say every uh, structure, steel structure, most of parts uh, are joints with the welding or connected with the welding only. Nowadays, it is commonly used. 
because uh, there are several benefits related with the uh, uh, welded connection because uh, in, in the welded connection the material uh, can be used efficiently or efficient use of material uh, will be take place uh, it will be, uh, uh, less wastages no additional uh, blades are required in case of bolting or riveting here we need additional plate to uh, connect here mostly in welding most of time the connecting plates are uh, not uh, required and uh, uh, you can see that uh, the connection is also always uh, the one piece connection the connection is always one uh, piece connection also uh, you can see that uh, weighted connection the additional weight due to bolting is reduced hence uh, the cost of uh, the load on the structure is reduced and that's why the cost of uh, construction in the steel structure is also reduced okay and welding curves weight and most of times connecting threads are eliminated as, as we uh, discussed also there is no direction of the holes because in welding or riveting we, we need a hole to connect the uh, members but in case of welding it is, it is a fusion uh, fusion welding and that's why there is no need of making a hole in the member uh, that's why the uh, gross section area is effectively uh, uh, used or consumed or you can say uh, uh, carry effectively uh, carrying the uh, loads therefore uh, the welded connection are better for uh, the fatigue uh, and fatigue load impact load and the uh, vibrations also so mostly uh, you can say the uh, the villages uh, uh, construction or etc we are going for the welded connection nowadays in steel structure because the fatigue load fatigue load means cyclic load uh, can uh, better uh, transfer by the, this uh, uh, welded connection uh, that's why we are looking for that and there is uh, you can see the uh, there is some uh, the uh, difference is uh, shown here uh, in between the welded connection and the bolted connection so in welding there is no noise uh, in bolting there is noise definitely hammering is required for bolt connection then the uh, construction of uh, any fabrication and the uh, uh, erection work is fast in case of welded connection uh, in case of bolted connection we have to tie each number of bolts and it is uh, time consuming load taking after cooling uh, after cooling as the weld cool the load taking is take place and that will also when you come under the faster construction uh, direct taking load just bolted bolt to make a that is also i think the welder is cheaper because no additional material is required only electrodes are required for the welding uh, and also weight is reduced on the structural part so that the overall the weight of the structure is also reduced and number sizes can be reduced and it is a costlier because of extra bolting uh, is required appearance in case of welding is very good and in a case of bolted connection uh, it is uh, not uh, seems to be good and uh, finishes are a smooth finish in case of welding and bolting it is it is erected outside of the member and it not look rough and not looks good and possible to any part uh, we correction at any time and provided uh, age and NMP distance it should be checked uh, properly so it is not probably the spread drive and there will be more chances in case of welding a bolted connection also to do cyclic load or cyclic loading or vibration what happened in the, oh, the nut or the board there may, there may be loosened 
and proper uh, regular maintenance are required. Maintenance are required for welding also, but uh, uh, but as compared to this, uh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, now, types of welded joints, uh, there are many types of welded joints. But mostly, they are going for the uh, fillet rail or uh, uh, the rubber uh, rail. Okay. So, we will see the first uh, the butt uh, rail, butt uh, rail or fillet rail. So, in butt rail, so two members they are uh, putting each other, as in case of uh, this diagram. As shown to you. Uh, here also you can see in this figure uh, this uh, two members are uh, all here you can see. So this uh, member uh, first one member here this is cut like this and this uh, may be the V type. This one is the another member and, and this members are touching or butting each other that's why this type of joint is called as uh, the butt uh, joint so this type of joint is called as butt joint the butt joint is connected with the bed and this is the fusion phase you can say this dotted line will denote as a fusion phase and the welding is done okay so this is nothing but the butt bed okay and this is called as Fluted angle and this angle should be uh, uh, 60 degree. And this additional, you can see the over the member, the additional rating is, is it is called as the reinforcement. It is called as reinforcement. And the uh, this thickness in between is called as in butt well, it is called as throat thickness. Uh, throat thickness. And it is around uh, the, uh, uh, the this, this one is called as. Enforcement top and bottom this portion okay and this is the throat thickness this this thickness this length is called as throat thickness okay and this gap is here from 2 to 15 mm as for the thickness of your brain. So in case of what well the thickness throat thickness is generally taken as 5 by 8 of thickness of the thinning plate. The throat thickness is uh, uh, taken as in case of the butt weight it is 5 by 8 of uh, thickness of the uh, thinning plate. And the right. Thickness of thinning plate. Sorry. Now there are different types of uh, butt welding and it may be if there is the members they are not cut and they are just like a plate when you are drawing so this, I will say this member 1 and this member 2 and there is no preparation of directly when you are drawing the rectangular portion so this type of weld is called as a square weld okay the square weld is like that and so this one and this one is the reinforcement as you see above so this is the portion of your weld I'm showing you the orange color you are in a series and uh, this one the square uh, square type of uh, particular okay then if you are cutting uh, the one side of the plate if one plate is straight okay one plate is straight and you are cutting one side of plate like the B V shape so this type of uh, uh, you know, connection is called as uh, what connection is called as single V butt joint. So this is called as single V single V butt joint. So this is single V butt joint because we are seeing in the butt joint connection. Uh, the butt joints we are seeing. So if one plate is straight and one plate we, we make a like V, so this is called as single uh, V butt joint. Sorry. And okay, so this uh, when you can join with this, you can see this is in V shape. You can see the so both members are making some inclined repression, and this type of joint is called as 
single viewpoint. So this plate we can make like this. So this type of drawing is called as so this type of weighted connection of protein is called as single. Similarly, if you are drawing, preparing the both side of side of the uh, making a sharp edge, if you are drawing the number like this, number it is uh, because both sides there is weak, so making the weak is also making weak. So this type of weight is called as the double V for joint. So side called as double V for joint. Similarly, single V will if one uh, one thread is uh, straight and there is no uh, pre uh, preparation of the surface and one thread there is pressure inclined plane on side only. And this is called as single level wood uh, uh, joint. Okay. So in case of this, these are the wood joints. In, in case of welded connection. Okay. So this uh, similarly, if you uh, one uh, one side of blade is uh, straight and another side it is two side inclined, so then this type of blade uh, is called as uh, double level, double level both side. It is making a K. Uh, you can see uh, this one side is straight and one side is way. It is making a K. And this is the member. And these are two members. They are joined in the building. And this type of joint is called as a double beam cut joint. Similarly, uh, single view and double view. If you will make one side only. So this will be the uh, you can say it is a single view per joint. Okay. You can see here it is making a U and this type of joint is called as single view per joint. And if you if you are making a U at top and bottom both sides uh, like this, so this type of joint is called as uh, double view per joint. This type of joint is called as so this type of points are called as the point view. So this is the different types of point we are seeing. Similarly, single J, you can say it is making a J, and one side is there, as in case of V, but there is curvature, not in client frame. So it is making a J, letter J of English, and uh, then you can say this type of joint is called as single J for joint. Single J for joint. And if you are making the both side, uh, this is I think then this type of joint is called as uh, double J for joint. Only one thread is uh, making the uh, two sides. So likewise, uh, different but joints are there, and you may straight history. This is. Uh, Available and as for the requirement, as for the site condition, as for the member member connection, we need different types of uh, this types of joints to be uh, provided. Now another type is the uh, you can say the fillet wheel. So if two plates are overlapping or uh, they are joined as the 90 degree, you can say that this is making an angle of 90 degree. Two members. So this you can say here it is making a anti degree, and uh, this this is shown. You can say I will change the color. Uh, this hash portion with the green color. You can say it is the fusion pitch. This one is the fusion pitch of the two members. Okay. Okay. And this uh, is called as uh, reinforcement. It is called as reinforcement. This is called as a reinforcement. And in case of what joint uh, also, you have seen this is the toe of your bed. You also the toe of your bed. Okay? And this one is the leg. This one is another leg. Okay? And this thickness is called as uh, nothing but. Uh, 
TT that is throat thickness, throat thickness, and it depends on the size of building. So if this type of building is done, then that is called as uh, the Okay, so this is the, the type of belt we can say. Now we will see some eyes specification in the eyes code and then we will uh, proceed for uh, that example. Okay, so embedded connection they are uh, in eyes code we can say in page number. Uh, 78 the wells and weldings are there the requirement of wells and welding shall conform to the is uh, 8 uh, let's say 816 is 9.95 as appropriate as for the wells. so generally we are going for the uh, uh, this, uh, because most of time uh, what happened the connection between the two members are uh, uh, overlapping each other. When you connect with the cassette plate to angle, when you connect with the uh, beam resting on the bracket, all these connections generally you see most on time is the fitted connection. And also, if the uh, transfer of load we required is smooth, The two uh, members are connected which uh, is moved again parallel uh, by working each other. So that also we may be provided in many parts that is joined in the flat, in the angles, in the uh, eye section or channel section, in the length is short. So at that time we are going for the butt uh, joint. Okay. So there is uh, many technical many clauses are here for uh, joint of uh, uh, by correcting the two number by the joint. So first we will see uh, the IC specification you can say the 10.5.1.1 10.5.5.1 is nothing but the end returns. When you provide the uh, welding to the members you can see here, uh, here the two members uh, we are connecting each other here. Okay, you can see this. Uh, this is the your dosset plate. Okay, this is your dosset plate, and the another plate is connected with this dosset plate, and this plate is connected by means of welding. By means of building, this member is connected. Okay, so this member you can see, uh, we are connected with the building. This is the building. Okay, but if we are not doing the weld at, at the end, so I, at the end, if I will provide, uh, I have to provide a, uh, a weld addi additional weld. This additional weld, this is called as end term. This is called as N return. Okay. So N return should be what what they are mentioning in IS code. Fillet wheels turning at the ends or sides or parts should be turned continuously around the corners. Any corners ke around me for welding the number of edges. We change the color and we can come to know. If the welding is uh, done up to this only, but we are providing this additional welding. You can see in the blue color. So this is called end return. So what here is said that the fitted weld termi uh, terminating at the end of, of side of parts should be turned uh, continuously around the corners for a distance not less than twice uh, the size of uh, the weld unless it is in impractical to do so. This is particularly important on the tension end of the part. Uh, carrying the bending loads. Okay, so generally, when there is the uh, welded uh, fillet weld, uh, you have to provide a end return uh, to the uh, member. Okay, 
కూడా జీవిద
the minimum size of rail in s minimum it will be okay why if your plate is greater than 10 and up to 20 mm up to 20 mm then the s minimum will be 5 mm the s minimum will be 5 mm then again uh, you can see uh, if your plate is 10 uh, over 20 and up to and it will be 32 so if your plate is uh, over 20 mm and up to or including 32 mm then the minimum size of first run of the weight is 6 mm is uh, 6 mm okay likewise in table number uh, table number 21 the minimum size of weight is So this clause is also again uh, okay. Then then another uh, uh, you can see the size of normal fillet shall be taken as the minimum weight deck size for deep penetration weight. That depth of penetration beyond the root run is minimum 2.4 mm. The size of fillet weight should be taken as minimum deck size of 2.4 mm. Okay. So that is given, and the size of fillet well should not be less than 3 mm. Okay, the size of fillet well should not be less than 3 mm. The minimum size of first run of single run fillet well shall be given in table number 21. Just again, no need to provide the risk of cracking in absence of three hitting. Okay, then the size of fillet well shall be specified by the effective floor thickness. What is the effective floor thickness of the uh, fillet bed? You can see here the effective floor thickness. The effective floor thickness of a fillet bed uh, shall not be less than 3 mm, so and shall generally not exceed 0.7 feet or 1 feet under spacing condition. But T is the thickness of thinner bed. Now, what is being said? Okay, what is the floor thickness? Floor thickness in case of the lift bed, I will write floor uh, thickness in case of the lift bed. That should not be less than the floor thickness that is given by. It is given by. 0.7 times of yes, okay, or for uh, or uh, 0.7 times of t, any thickness of t, uh, where t is the thickness of t. Here also for for the the effect two fourth thickness for it. The effective fluid thickness of the complete penetration butt well shall be taken as the thickness of the thinner part of the joint. So, if if there is uh, two type of well in, in case of butt joint, in case of butt joint, two types of well, uh, two types of plate are there. So, this is nothing but the pure TT uh, in the case of the The smaller thickness of thinner part of the plate. So this one, the thinner part, so this is the TT. The thickness of thinner plate is nothing but your TT. Okay. The total length of butt well shall be taken as length of continuous full size well, but not less than the four times the size of it. So you can uh, go for that. And here also the effective total thickness. Uh, your uh, in the effective area of plug well, no, we don't need a plug well to be required. You can go for this uh, clause. We are seeing here the. Uh, okay. So this is the clause for uh, to find out the uh, your thickness of uh, sorry size of the well, minimum size of well. And there is also the clause uh, to find out the uh, 
maximum uh, size of the uh, width that is uh, maximum size of maximum uh, size of uh, of width that is s max so it is given uh, also as uh, uh, 800 to 7 uh, you can go there uh, here one pair figure number uh, figure number you can say is 800 so here uh, it may be given somewhere the clause maximum size of pair so you can see here it is given the uh, maximum size of bread. Minimum size you have seen. And uh, maximum size of yeah, yeah. For the purpose of stress calculation in project where joint faces including each other, the effective growth thickness should be taken as k times the project where size. So, here by effective growth thickness k times of project where size and the size is given in table number 22. So, if the degree angle between the fusion phase is 60 to 90 degree, then the value of k is 0.7. So, what I have written here is not always 0.7, the effective throat thickness that TT, it may be k times of s and this k value depend on angle uh, angle of angle of fusion uh, phase fusion phase and this value you can take from table number uh, table number 20 okay so table number 22 gives us the k value it may be 0.7 if 90 to 60 to 90 degree angle of fusion phase is 90 to 100 then 0.65 and 101 to 106 0.6 107 to 130 0.5 and 114 to 120 is 0.5 so this is the value of k you have to for it to set the yes, based on the uh, angle of the fusion phase okay now we are searching the clause for the maximum size of uh, your project because uh, the, the so that is given in uh, this figure you can see uh, here so you can see the pillet weights on square edge on pillet or long or toe rolls so this figure uh, this gives us the maximum uh, size of bed so this is given in the page number 18 uh, at the top most below the page number 79 you can see here what is uh, uh, if i will draw if there is sharp edge and if there is a round edge. So there is uh, two figures, 17A is for sharp edge and 17B for the round edge. So the so maximum size of width is depend on the, the edges uh, of the lead will be drawn. If there is sharp edge, this is, uh, you can say this sharp edges are there, the two, two points are so this is sharp edge. The welding uh, should you can choose the S maximum. So this this should be you have to left and 1.5 mm you have to left. And whatever the thickness of the blade, and uh, you can provide the maximum. So so uh, in, in case of sharp edge, I will write in case of in case of sharp edge, in case of sharp edge, sharp edge. Because in roll distance section the edges are round, but in the plates the edges are uh, sharp. So you can write here if there is sharp edge, then the maximum size of well, plate well, this maximum should be equal to thickness of plate, thickness of plate, thickness of Plate minus one point 
five mm. For example, if your thickness of plate is uh, uh, ten mm, so maximum size of uh, will be ten minus one point five. So maximum size of your bed should be eight point five mm. In case of sharp edge, in case of sharp edge, okay. But if if your edge is not sharp, uh, this your edge is some one round. And in case of the toe of your angle, and if you are doing the welding here, so this is nothing but this portion three by four. Uh, sorry, one by four of your uh, plate thickness you have to lift. So this uh, you can see in the here also it is written one by four times of T, and T is given. So this is the T thickness of the member. This is the T. Okay. So this will be one by four times of the T. You have to reduce. So what uh, is the S maximum in case of round edge? In case of round edge, in case of round edge, in case of the round edge, S maximum is equal to whatever the thickness of your plate, thickness of plate. That is T minus one by four of your T. Yeah, here in other word you can write down the S maximum is nothing but uh, three by four. If you minus one by four T T minus one by four, it will become three by four times thickness of your plate. Your plate. And that is nothing but that is the S maximum. Okay, and we have already seen the thickness of uh, throat thickness is nothing but throat thickness. Throat thickness as per clause. As per clause. Ten point five point three point two at per clause ten point three point five point two. I think so. Five point three point two or ten point five point three point two. Ten point five point three point two. The T T is nothing but K times K times. Size of your belt, okay. Size of belt should be in between uh, S minimum and S maximum. Right? Yeah. This is the value of S in between the S minimum and S maximum. And K, the value of K is given in table number table number twenty two of IS eight hundred two thousand seven. Okay, based on based on um, the angle of angle of fusion faces. Okay, so this is the closest uh, for the uh, design of the cylinder. Okay, so I think so. Uh, I will share this also to you. So you can be. Uh, Can uh, disclose it. You can remember and uh, section number ten of uh, section ten in connection of this uh, clause is about the bolted connection and the uh, welded connection is given. So you can uh, search and go there and search, uh, read there and write all the important clauses. You have any doubt? You may ask it to me. Otherwise, we will stop today, and we will go for example in next lecture. If there is physical class, we will come to college.
uh, other ways from my class to continue that put the instruction for the department we follow the instruction whatever uh, it may be of course okay so if you have any question you can ask it me otherwise we will stop here कोई क्वेश्चन है कुछ पूछना है आपको कुछ पूछना है बेटा नो क्वेश्चन हेलो नो सर ओके नो सर तो पढ़ाई अच्छी करो ओके